Now we're going to be fixing our snowblower today. Uh, we got a storm coming up. Uh, the problem is, is that the this uh, scraper at the back has worn out because the uh, skid pads here were worn out and the whole unit dropped down and scraped everything off. What I do with these with these pads here is when they they begin to to wear I uh, weld another piece of steel to the bottom <laughs> instead of having to keep buying new pads. But anyway, okay, so this is completely worn to the point where if we look underneath, we can see that the uh, bolts here are beginning to scrape on the ground and they are being worn away and pretty soon uh, it'll wear to the point where the actual um, housing starts to, to be worn out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. I've got to go buy new little carriage bolts for this. And then I'm going to weld another piece to this. Because that's a lot easier than having to, you know, fabricate a whole new piece and cut slots. And so that's what my intention is. So I'm going to take this off, go buy new bolts, and then we'll pick it up from there. Okay, I've taken it off, uh, the scraper blade off. There's a really big burr on here, and it's completely worn into a curve. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off this burr, take off a little bit here, take off a little bit here. Then we're going to find a piece of steel, and we're going to weld it on. sander and take off these two ends. I don't know if you can see that the way the blade wears, there's a big gap in the middle. I don't want to totally close it, close it but I want to get a little bit closer. Let's do that.
I've marked the length that I need. And let's cut it off. Now we're going to do a little clean up before we weld it. Now what I'm going to do is clamp it down to a straight edge. And let me see if I adjust that camera a little better. Take this new piece, put it right there. It's got a little bit of a bow in the middle, so I should be able to clamp it with just one clamp. Now I'm going to take the MIG welder and tack it in a few spots. I don't want to weld the whole thing because next time it wears out, I just want to be able to cut the welds and add another piece. I don't have to buy another scraper. All right, let me get the Tax. I want 
turn it over. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. so that it scrapes and then we're going to put it back on and uh, should be good for another three four years scraper blade for last of a lot longer than it did when it was new and a lot more adjustment than I had before. Okay, go put it back on the snow globe. Okay, here's the blade and we're going to put it back in here. Now there's a, a ridge back here where I guess they want it to go, but that really doesn't afford you any kind of adjustment. So I don't see any harm in moving it past there. And then in a year or two, I can move it forward and have some more adjustment. I went and bought uh, new bolts. Um, seven sixteenths carriage bolts by one three quarters of an inch long. And I did buy new uh, floating lock nuts because of these slots. Otherwise, you have to put washers under the bottom. But I really don't see why I can't use the old nuts. I mean, they're pretty well... I don't know if you can see that. They're kind of worn from scraping on the ground, but you know what? I'm going to use them anyway if I can. Save these for another day.
how to adjust these uh, side pads, skid pads. All right, so <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to take two. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take two eighth-inch shims and we're going to put it underneath the scraper like that, and then we're going to adjust these skid plates. Out. Now I can see we have a new a new bar. It'll wear in as these side skid plates wear out. Everything will wear together, and we'll have a system that'll last for. A whole another bunch of years.